Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so, I hate that I always go um. That's definitely a big um and like. I feel like I've been saying a ton as I now say like. So, pardon the mess on the back porch. I cleaned the cars and then I just haven't been cleaning outside because I've been busy doing other things. So today's video I am super excited about. I did a video, I guess, I'll have to look in the timestamp, but I want to say it was like a year ago, a year ago this past like January that I did videos on Meet My Horses. And because of those videos, I had a girl reach out to me about this time last year that said, I know that horse. I used to ride her when she was like six and I've been looking for her. I miss her, blah, blah, blah. So we've met, we have now become really good friends. Since then, you guys know my husband and I have moved and bought our own house. And we are like 30 minutes from this girl. So she now comes and rides and is doing a great job with Sage. Well, today there happens to be a fun show in our area. So we are taking Sarah and Sage to the fun show. It's going to be their first show showing together since Sarah was like 12, I think. Um, it's Sage's first show in... I don't know how many years, but I'm really excited and I figured I'd just show you our feeding routine at our new place and of course some chickens because I got some new babies. I know. <laughs> We've lost three birds. Um, so we lost two hens that were laying eggs and a rooster, which I wasn't too upset about him, but I was pretty disappointed in the hens and I had hatched some chicks that I had shown you guys and I know I'd told you about Nugget not um, thriving really well and this woman posted in a Facebook group that I'm a part of and her chicken looks a lot like Nugget so I messaged her and said hey you know I can help if you want so she gave me Nug this we were calling it McNugget because <laughs> we have a Nugget now a McNugget uh, so she gave me that one and another baby. So I have just moved those guys out of my house. I am chickenless in my house. Thank you. Praise Jesus. Like, oh, the dust. Unbelievable. Don't want chickens in my house again. It's just, oh, so gross. So two nights ago, I moved Benedict, Nugget, McNugget, and this, um, it's a blue Andalusian. I haven't named him yet into my tech shed they have a heat lamp because it's still believe it or not getting down into the 30s at night which is ridiculous and then my other nine bigger babies they were forced into the big coop so they've been doing really well we'll go in here and this is a mess because i've currently got these guys in here but good morning baby chickens so that's nugget if you guys remember how little that one was and it's a rooster oh and there's mcnugget hi mcnugget hello little baby so as you can see it looks a lot like nugget did when nugget was really little and of course benedict and then this blue andalusian uh we need a name for this one. So I still haven't named eight out of the other chickens. But let me show you. I'll give them some mm, mealworms. Oh, yum. Oh yeah, scratch it all up there, Benny. Good job. Yes, that works. Um, okay. So I've made, made feeding stations with the horses. They each get buckets. Everybody was gonna be in these small ones, but my two thoroughbreds need bigger buckets. They got bigger heads. Magic probably could use a bigger bucket too, but that's okay. She deals. So I set the buckets down. Again, pardon the mess. They were a bit messy right now. switched feeds from where we were this is called horse sense um, a for athlete it is a ration balancer that 
provides all the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that they need. It's really helped sage to grow a better mane. As you know what they say, crappy appy manes. Then in here is alfalfa pellets, barley, and oats. So that's their source of energy and fat. And it was cold, so Duke gets two full scoops today. Oh, shoot. I forgot. We switched sage to lime green. Her Lisa likes her in lime green, so she's got that lime green saddle pad and helmet cover. So we were switching, since that's her color, but magic for years has been my lime green girl. So we've put Sage and Duke on a Quinity. Um, seems to be helping Sage, for sure. Duke's been on it for maybe two weeks and haven't seen a whole lot of improvement yet, but um, really hoping, because we've been struggling with lameness and foot issues. We fixed his front feet for now. Now we've got a right hind lameness. Okay. Quinity. And then, as my feed store lady said, Diamond V, <laughs> which is in a peppermint bin. <laughs> um, she calls it horsey crap. Po sorry. Horsey pot. It's supposed to... Um, it's a bat powder. It smells really good. It's like a, a yeast culture that helps, um, I think it's supposed to help like calm them and help with gut issues and stuff. Uh, okay, then we're doing some coca soya. The Therabreds get it and I'm actually, I'm going to start sage on it as well because I'm not really pleased with her coat condition and her weight right now. This might be a bit hard doing this. <laughs> There's the food. So, Sage, you need to go to your spot. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, big boy. Ugh, hold on. All right, I'm gonna have to put this down. Had to put you guys down. So everybody has a feeding station. Say good morning, Magic. Hello, hello, grumpy face. And then Sage, and then Rosie Rose, and on the end is Duke. And yes, everybody's in blankets. Except for Magic, because she still has a fluffy, fluffy coat. But it's like in the 30s right now. This is ridiculous. We're end of April. So, now, to the chickens. Baby food. So I come out here, get them scratch. This is a corn mixture. Not sure what else is in there. Mm -hmm. doing things one-handed and when my hands are cold I should have put on gloves so my favorite rooster <laughs> he's hanging out in this coop because he's he's getting attacked by the other roosters this if you guys can believe it or not is Bugsley so morning Bugs how you doing in there handsome hi sweet chicken you're so cute so he's, he comes and goes, but that's where he tends to want to sleep at night because the other birds pick on him a little bit. Uh, it's almost like the roosters don't realize he's a rooster and they're trying to breed him. And he was like, boys, <laughs> I don't float that. My, my boat doesn't float that way. Or my gates don't swing that way, whatever the saying is, you know. Incoming birds, good morning. I hear the babies.
This guy's turned into a little punk omelet. He just attacks me. Can't walk anywhere. So mean. Thankfully though, Patton and the turkeys come to my defense. They chase him off. They said, not cool. Not cool. <gasps> There's a baby. Hi, babies. <laughs> Ivan Siri. Hey. So, I, of course, give them mealworms. Hi, General. He gets some height. So I have to spread them some mealworms as well. Hi, babies. Oh, but that didn't work out so well, did it there, General? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hi, baby chickens. So, Patton, this gray, and then the two white ones I purchased at Tractor Supply, um, Chicken Swap. Then that big black one was one of the ones we hatched out. Oh, and here comes the rest. Hi guys! I'm missing a barred rock. She must be still in a coop. Okay, so now I open the coop after everybody's out. This is hard to do in the cold. And I check for eggs. Let's see. Oh, there's some more guys in here. So there's Jack Jack. I love that hen. Say no eggs yet, huh ladies? You're getting ready to lay them while I leave? Okay. The black hen, she's laying me an egg every other day. Hi turkeys. So my husband really likes Game of Thrones. So we've named our three turkeys after the dragons. So we have Drogon, who has tail feathers currently missing, because he's growing some new ones in. Rhaegal, and Venseri. She's the hen. She makes the most noise. Say, so are we strutting our stuff this morning, boys? You strutting your stuff? Oh yeah, very handsome. You can't tell in this light, but their feathers are like iridescent and green. I mean, they're so cool looking. Hey, hello, Regal. You are one handsome dude, huh? You said I want to show off. Pat and leave it. Come here. Good morning. Hey, good morning, everyone in Facebook land. I mean, YouTube land. Good morning, YouTube land. So I tend to have to stand here until everybody's done eating. When I say everybody, I mean him. Because the other two will come over and take his food. So this is kind of our morning on the farm. Feeding the horses, letting out the chickens, and then staying here to make sure Miss Grumpy Face doesn't eat Duke's food. Hey, cut it out, ma'am. Rude. You're going to a show today. Are you so excited? You so excited? Are you gonna go win some ribbons? Ugh, I don't wanna go work. I'm retired at the ripe old age of 19. Good mare. Hi, big duke. Oh. <laughs> Sage, you may not be able to hide for long. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> so she's all loaded up. Not very happy, mind you. She says, oh, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Betrayer of all horse souls. Oh, say jaws. That's right. So we have arrived, and as we're pulling in, we literally see the cutest pony in the world. And we kind of want to bring it home with us, but my husband would kill me. But let me show you, it's so cute. Look at it, it's a little tiny pony. I'm just eating, 
Just ignore the pony behind the mirror. Gets off the trailer and is just as calm, cool, and collected as can be. Hasn't been to a setting like this in years. I mean, we've done trail rides, but not to a show where there's other horses and stuff. Yes, come say hello, people. And she hasn't whinnied, screamed, done anything bad. She said, I'm a good girl. Yes, sweet sage -os. See, look, I, it says my name. My name, yeah. So Mama Sarah's getting dressed. The sage is already ready in her lime green. Beautiful mare. So, as Sarah always says, we have to insert a treat to ride. So we have to insert a cookie to ride. Come here. Come here. Get your head up. Ooh. So we're gonna have a good show, huh? Same. You gonna do a good job? Gonna bring your rider home safe? Looks good. She's moving slower here than at home. <laughs> I swear, I think she knows she's at a little show. So I'll have to behave myself today. Oh. Yay, Sarah! Five, four, 
I thought it was the four range. In fourth place. Whatever. Yay! Not gonna lie, I'm a little teary eyed over that one. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job, Sagey. You say, are you done? You stick a fork in ya. <laughs> So, Sarah and Sage did awesome. I could not be prouder. They got second place in pattern. pattern. I keep forgetting. Pattern. They did so well. I am so happy that we got to come out and do this. There were 11, 10, I think there was 10 riders in the class total. So, a lot of stiff competition, but they did it. I'm so proud. Yay. Yay, Sagels. She's like, I'm done. Take me home. Peace out, Cub Scout. Good girl. Oh, look at her face. She's so sweet. Oh, you want to say we starve her to death? Silly girl. We brought your alfalfa. Mm.